Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm here to do more missing women and children cases. We are here to break the codes if we see any. We are here to see where their bodies are located, if they know. We also here to see they're alive, to see body suited, misidentity, or change the identity, okay? Y'all yeah, should know who's involved. involved. The white supremacists just stand for protection, okay, of their organization, and the African Americans, of the Indians, okay, of Shanice the Queen, okay? Um, let's begin, okay? This is by a young woman named Donna Calloway, C-A-L-L-O-W-A-Y. Police refuse to list her as a missing person. This is how she looks, okay? She says she is missing, though. Ever since 39-year-old Donna Calloway went missing in June 2018 after last being seen leaving her home in Alabama, Kawana Abner had been actively searching for her sister. It could be Kawana, okay? But K-A-W-O-N-N-A. Kawana told reporters that she contacted police back in 2018 to let them know that no one had seen or heard from Donna, but she alleged that Mon Monica Mari, Alabama authorities wouldn't allow her to file a report until August 2019. So they became Donna's, uh, they got body parts of her, official missing date listed in various agencies. But her loved ones know that just isn't true. Kawana has always been the primary caregiver of Donna Callaway's eight children, but, but it also could be one of the, her traffickers. But I'm thinking about somebody else, okay? But Donna would regularly see her kids. She reportedly had a good relationship with all of them. So it's, un it's uncharacteristic for her to vanish without a phrase. Yes, she's taking care of kids that was also missing, okay? Yes, they make us do that. Okay, I don't mind. The Montgomery Advertiser described Donna as having an intellectual disability and reports that she easily persuaded. She said, yes, yeah, she did, because they show her plenty of models, plenty of tapes, especially of my daughters, okay? That can make you disabled, okay? I ain't gonna care. Donna has kept all cleaning jobs and can cook and help with work around the home. But if she was in a bad situation, she wouldn't stick up for herself. Foo, I know how you feel. I do the same thing. During the holiday season in Friendly Friendly, Donna's children told their aunt that they didn't want presents. But instead asked Kawana to lose the money to continue the efforts in finding their mother. Yes, them kids that she was babysitting that was also missing is also dead, okay? I tell her that I hope she comes back and that I miss her. Donna's seven-year-old son, Willie Calloway, said, I want my mama. Kawana claimed that police initially rejected the idea that Donna was a missing person because they insisted that she walked away from her life. They, yes, yeah, she agreed to this, okay? She agreed to die, okay? They reportedly said that because Donna had eight children, after the eight children died, she was somehow overwhelmed and abandoned her family. Kawana said that was the furthest from the truth. It took over a year for the Montgomery Police Department to agree to file a missing person reports. report. My sister loved her children. I don't care where she's at. She's going to call and talk to them, said Kawana. She wouldn't just leave her children. Kawana and Donna's mother passed away in May, Frenny Frenny, another devastating blow to the close needed family. My sister is missing, and she doesn't even know my mom is dead, Kawana added. If you don't have family that cares, nothing's going to be done. If you don't have an education, nothing is going to be done. If they think it's going to take too much time or money, look what they did to my sister's case. Kawana believes her sister became a victim of human trafficking. Donna is one of six. She said, who? Black women currently listed as missing from Alabama. At the time of her disappearance, Donna Calloway stood 5 feet 3 inches tall and weighed 119 pounds. She had black, dark brown hair and brown eyes. What she was last seen wearing is unknown, but she does have at least two tattoos. Her middle name, Michelle, on her left leg, unknown Pacific location, and on her right thigh, a rose with the name Annie. Okay, A-N-N-I-E. Okay, they gave her the tattoos. There's only one photo of Donna Calloway available to the public, public and it's listed be above, okay? 
Anyone with information about this case is urged to contact the Montgomery Police Department at 334-625-2810, 334-241-2651, or their local authorities. Her agency case number is 19-40629. Please share this story about Donna Calloway to help reunite the investigation into her case. She is our sister and her life matters. So y'all have to help with this case, y'all can. I don't do it for the fame or the money. I, don't, I do it because it's what I love to do. I said they didn't give me no information. So how in the hell I'm supposed to know they didn't give me no information? It don't matter because I'm on drugs, okay? It don't matter because I'm, I'm, I'm drinking. Y'all dumb, okay? They didn't give me no information. Okay, so hopefully y'all enjoy it. Peace.